Welcome back to another episode of Inside HTC. This time we're going to speak to the president of the Herberger Theater Center organization, Mr. Dick Bowers. Well, I, I, I retired from 31 years in local government. Uh, retired as a city manager of Scottsdale. Wanted to do some things to serve community. Love the art. Always believed, always believed that art saves cities. Even when I was running cities, if you didn't have good art, you you couldn't be a great city, you cannot be a great city without great art, period. I became really engaged in what art was doing in downtown Phoenix. Uh, it was in 01, so it wasn't long before 9-11. And frankly, that sealed it for me. Uh, I think I got here in May and 9-11, and um, that tragedy, it was so clear to me that art was an escape from it. Art was a counterpoint, art was hope. And when I saw the little kids sitting in the theater while Schoolhouse Rock was on, do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. It was the two days after 9-11 and some mom didn't want the kids to come. They were afraid there'd be another bombing or something. And, and But all these kids came and they watched that. And I watched them. I sat up in the balcony and watched them. Uh, and their faces, they were totally in, in the performance and not totally in the horrible things they'd seen. And that's just a little vignette, but I just came to really appreciate what's done here. But I think it was in probably in the early 80s that there was started to be a buzz about about downtown possibilities, a lot of energy being put into into uh, reforming it. And um, bit by bit, with with the theater being the catalyst, being the first major commitment from my recollection, and then uh, the Arizona Center and the Rouse Project there being being the most definite representation of, of something new. And bit by bit, it just unfolded to the point where you got a little more comfortable, the ballparks, and uh, you, know, you came down in mass. There wasn't a lot to do still, but you came down and you started to get introduced to it. And, and now we see a really vibrant, vital the downtown growing out of those seeds of, of the 80s. 1983, the committee dissolved and formed a new nonprofit corporation which acquired the south half of the block, the block, of, uh, the south half that we're sitting on right now. Bob and Cax Herberger issued their first challenge grant for $2 million, and the board of the nonprofit corporation agreed to raise 51% of the cost of the building. The Phoenix Civic Plaza Building Corporation and the city of Phoenix agreed to provide 49%. At that moment, the public-private sector partnership was created, and it demonstrates again that we know how to work together in this city for something that will truly improve the valley. One of the things that people don't, a lot of people don't understand about the theater is that we are a nonprofit organization. And, and can you speak to the role that we play as that the theater plays as a nonprofit? Well, you know, I think we, like most nonprofits, we really define that term. You know, there is just no profit. The profit is in civic good. So I think maybe some of the things we do is to create, is to be a catalyst, uh, to create opportunities for, for through lunchtime theater, if, you know, for younger companies to grow. Uh, and then we, we can we can open ourselves up to to opportunities that we might not be able to in a for-profit situation like the work we do with uh, Free Arts of Arizona. But the bottom line here today, as we break ground for the Herberger, it's a different bottom line, and one that the private sector is just as committed to as the economic bottom line. Of course, that bottom line is quality of life. We've been willing, in cooperation with the city, uh, people like Herbergers, Cax and Bob, we've been willing to bet our money to make an investment on the quality of life as represented by what the future of the Herberger Theater holds for all of us. I see us as a continually evolving uh, organization, a continually evolving institution that integrates itself into a continually evolving downtown in some really exciting ways. So the, the theater has to change while its environment changes, and then the theater changes the environment, and then the environment, you know, it's that sort of thing that architecture does. You build a building, then the building builds you that the Herberger Theater Center is an integral part of the well-being of downtown economically, socially, uh, uh, technically, uh, and spiritually. Thank you for watching another episode of Inside HTC. Please stay with us as we'll have more episodes coming very soon.